entrusted it. Yes. God entrusted it yes. to the people to, to adult. For example, Jesus said he was sent to the Jews, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Matthew 15, verse 24. Yeah, yeah. The house so of Israel. Jesus said, I was not sent except unto the Lord. Yeah, yeah, it says that. Of Israel, right? Yeah, it says that, yeah. So, God Cut and then record. entrusted those scriptures to, to the rabbis and those people who are in authority. So, so, what was the question? One second. What was the question? So, this is a new discussion. I wanted to carry. What was the dis question? Why did God not preserve? The scriptures, yeah, please. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so say, uh, no, when I say the scriptures, I'm referring specifically so yeah. to, the Torah and the, the, so the, to the Torah and the Injil. So, to the Torah and the Injil that's mentioned in the Quran, what, what I found interesting <laughs> is that according to the Quran, um, Allah sent the Torah and the Injil. Um, uh, Ali so mentioned. I want to pick up on a point you mentioned earlier because there was a few things you were you, you said that I want to pick up on. Um, like, for example, Jesus receiving worship. Wait, wait. Sorry, I, I don't. Right, want... do you want to just carry on? Yeah. Just carry on, because the question they asked. Thanks. Thanks. Well, you got off now, yeah. I'm gonna Thanks go. Back. Right, that right, question. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Go on. I yeah, said for about five, ten minutes. And now no, no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I just want to pick up on a point because you mentioned, right, um, quite a number of things, right? And one of them was that Jesus received worship, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Right. And so I just, I just want to get an understanding. So do you take that as an as an indicator that Jesus is God because he received worship? Or what, what's your... Okay, okay, okay. So I want to start back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're going back yeah, a little yeah, bit. No, yeah, sure. So I brought up that verse to say that, okay, that's an example of Jesus receiving worship. But I'm not saying, like... I wouldn't just appeal to one whole verse and say that this verse alone necessarily proves that Jesus is God just by what, what like what's happening in the chapter. So what I do is that I look at all of the verses in their intended context. I try and I try and um, I try and do as much research as possible to try and think what what is the writer that's actually writing that Jesus is meant to have said this or that. So are you using time. that as an evidence that okay? I uh, use it to build part of a picture. So as a piece of the puzzle. I understand so that. I, I get that. Yeah. yeah. But it, I, I take it that that's one evidence you're using that to, to to demonstrate that Jesus is God, right? One one evidence. Not okay. So that it would stand up complete on its own, but one example when you look. Okay. At the so let's picture, okay. So let's deal with that. Jesus. Let's deal with that. Yeah. yeah so ahead. tell. Can you tell me the Greek? word for the word worship? I probably can't. Um, I'll have to look at the Bible dictionary. Okay. Did you say it's proskunio or something? Yeah, proskunio. Do you proskunio. know what proskunio means? Um, I forgot. Let me... Can you spell it for me, please? Proskunio. Oh. Okay, baby. Probably it's P-R-O-S-C-U-N-E. I've got two different words here. Uh, in Greek, Actually, lat Lateria, wait. Um, old Greek, not old. You, need, you need a Bible dictionary for this, honestly. Uh, <laughs> Right, the thing is, right, if we, okay. Oh, did I get yeah, No, yeah. okay. Yeah, if we, yeah. right, so I'm just going to explain, right? Yeah. If we go to the interlinear, right? The interlinear. Um, Sorry, what is interlinear? The interlinear is the Bible, Bible Hub. Okay. Right, okay. Bible Hub interlinear. Okay, yeah, yeah. It uses, so when the, the men of the East came and they, okay, they, yeah, they, yeah. they saw Jesus and they worshipped him. Yeah, yeah. The Greek word used here is proskunio. Yeah. Proskunio means to pay homage. Yeah. To give, uh, to pay respect. Yeah. It doesn't mean worship as God receives worship, mm. right? In fact, if we go to Daniel, book of Daniel, Daniel received worship. Yeah, yeah. Is Daniel God? Well, no, 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 no. Of course, Daniel is not God. Okay. But in this if you go to Daniel chapter two, yeah. verse forty-six, Daniel received worship. Yeah. But, but that doesn't make him God, does it? It doesn't. Now, in my point... So... Um, yeah, yeah, so... so in your, do you, would you... I'm no, just, I, I, I fully get the argument that you're saying. Where I would say it doesn't apply to Jesus is because when we go to John... Uh, John chapter 5, 23, that's John chapter tw 5, 23... What does it say? Um, wait, let me just go back um, a verse before. Uh, did it, did it, sorry, so I'll start from um, uh, John 5, 21. So, for just as the Father raises the dead and, give his, and gives them life, even so the son referring to jesus himself in the third person gives life to whom he to, to whom he is pleased to give it um moreover the father judges no one but has entrusted all judgment to the son um and then this is the one now that all may honor the son 
just as they honor the father. Whoever does not honor the son, referring to Jesus himself in the third person, does not honor the father who sent him. Right. Now, this is an English translation we read in. We know that if we look at the Greek, so how the word that... for father, okay. yeah. so, sorry Hamza, the word for father is going to refer to Yahweh, God. So Jesus is saying that all may honor me as they honor God. So what I, the point I'm making is, is that the reverence that Jesus was asking to give him wasn't the earthly kind of reference that reverence or honor due respect that you're referring to, yeah. but is the same type of honor and reverence that you would give the Father, which is God, i.e. Jesus making a divine claim that he is God. Okay, that's your, what you're doing is something called eisegesis. I know right? you're going to say that I'm reading well, that into the text, yeah, but no, no, I don't no, but, no, no, but you are though, because there's no, not, not, because you don't have any supporting evidence to demonstrate what that explanation you gave into that verse. Well, it's the whole gospel, um, okay. I could say is the right. whole, yeah, go for it. Notice, Notice uh, John 5 23. Right. So it says all judgment was given to the to the son, right? Yeah, who's the right. son? Jesus, right? Okay, right. Yeah, right, cool. so all judgment. And who is the father? The father, the father, isn't it? No, but who is the father? Because it can't be Allah, because Allah is the yeah, father. Well, you no believe one. in Yahweh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so you believe that Yahweh is the father, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. So all judgment. Now, does God need to be given judgment? So, for example, we know that God is all powerful. Mm -hmm. It says that all power was given to me from the father. Right? Wait, wait, sorry, what, what you okay. In the Bible, it says all power is given to me from the Father, and Jesus, right? And Jesus is saying that for himself. So, yes. yeah. So Jesus is the recipient of that power, right? Yeah. Right. So before Jesus received that power, yeah. did he have the power initially? Yeah, yeah. The John 1 1. No. Okay, but he said all power was given to me from God. Yeah, yeah. So that means he never had the power beforehand. Well, no, because if you look at. Remember, I'm quoting from John 1, right? So when. When Muslims quote verses from John to argue the point that Jesus was just a prophet of God, they have to understand that the same writer that is quote that is saying or is quoting Jesus as writing this is the same writer that wrote John one one. Okay, I, know, I, know, I, know that, I know that you have an issue with John one one, but what I'm trying no, to. No, you're say, not dealing with my actual question. What, what I'm asking, right? What I'm asking you, right? Yeah. The Bible says all power was given to me from the Father. Yes. Right. Yeah. That's true. So, for example, if I had this mobile phone, no. and this is the only mobile phone I have, and I said I'm going to give this phone to you. Yeah. At this point, I don't have the phone no more, right? So when Jesus says, all power was given to me from the Father, mm. did Jesus have the power before that? Yes, because in John 1.1, 1, 1, right, it, say? it says, in the beginning was the word, or logos. Um, it doesn't, say, the, the English translation doesn't say logos there, but the Greek would be logos. Um, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And then when you go to um, John 1.14, um, it says that the word uh, became flesh, or became human being, became incarnate. So God becoming human, and if we go to Philippians 2, verses 5 to 6, sorry, 5 to 11, that's Philippians 2 5 to 11 it said or Paul is writing that although Jesus was God he didn't see it as being something to take advantage of, of yeah. him but that he um, he gave up his divine privileges yeah. and took the form as a human being. Yeah but you see the thing so, is God doesn't give up his divine what? if God gives up his divine privileges but it doesn't right? stop from being God. Oh, hold on yes it does. How? Okay so if I relink okay so God never in the Islamic belief right and also in the Christian belief God will never relinquish his power yeah. because if God relinquishes his power he's no longer the creator right if God stops creating if God stops being all-knowing right so one of the attributes of God is that he's all-knowing is that According right to what Christ, yeah, okay yeah I agree I agree do you disagree that no, God I, is all-knowing? I agree I agree that God is all-knowing right so if God relinquished that knowledge yeah. is he still all-knowing yeah but how can you if you're God how can you not be God all of a sudden no 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 listen I get what you're saying right. because so, you're saying that if God relinquishes an attribute, he stops being God. Is that your argument? No, well, yes, that's my argument. But hold on one okay, second. Right, yeah. For example, and this is actually a refutation that Jesus cannot be God. Because Jesus did not know the day of judgment. He says, of that day, of that hour, knows no man. Nay, not even the Son. Who is the Son here? Yeah, Jesus, yes. Yeah, right. Only the Father knows this knowledge, right? Yeah. So who does Jesus identify as being the all-knowing, true God and also knowing all things? Who does Jesus identify? Right. Who does Jesus identify as the one who knows all things and the one who knows the hour? What God? I like Yahweh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, bless you. Right. Sorry, but he's no, 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 it's right. It's right. It's <laughs> yeah, right. carry, carry, carry. So. If God stops knowing something just for a millimint of a second, yeah. right? Then, 
it doesn't befit the attributes of God. It doesn't befit the majesty of God that he relinquishes such power. Yeah. Because... Knowing? Pardon? What are you saying that he stops knowing? Yeah, that, that, so that, that, part, yeah. Of God's, part, part of God's attributes is that he is all knowing. Yeah. There could never be for a second that God doesn't know something because then that just, that just makes God not God no more. But, yeah, but that's, that's an assumption, Hamza. For example, in, um, in, in the book of, I think in the book of Matthew where, are you a Christian, by the way? Okay, well, so in the Bible it says, Jesus did not know the hour, yeah, yeah. right? He didn't Jesus, know the... But he's talking Jesus as, Jesus as in the ego himself. He looks at himself as a dense, as in Human Jesus. Being. But it's God through Jesus. No, no, no. no. What I'm saying, right, says, is that... The sun, actually, it says the sun doesn't know the hour. The sun is supposed yeah, yeah. to be the... Not even the angels in the heaven. Sun, yeah. yeah, the sun is... No, 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 listen. Christians believe, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. Christians believe yeah. that Jesus is God, yes. right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. But there was a question that yeah. Jesus was asked about the hour. The yeah, hour yeah, is like the day of judgment. And Jesus says, I don't know. Yeah, 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 the I only one who that. knows the hour yeah. is the Father. Yeah. So my question is, if Jesus is God yeah. and God is all knowing, yeah. how did he not know that information? The scripture, yeah, that's what I'm asking. The, yeah, and so I think, I'm not sure if he was there when I brought up the scripture. Well, Bro, are you, are you with me? Um, I brought up Philippians 2 where it says um, so it's talking about yeah in your relationships be with one another have the same mindset as Christ Jesus who being in the very nature who, be, who being in very nature God did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage rather he made himself nothing by taking um, the form of a human servant and if you look at some translations some English translations rather um, uh, sorry give us a second you do know that contradicts John 17 verse 3 right I'll, I'll get to that because okay I'm, let's I'm, I'm not gonna... we'll go there we'll yeah, go so there. so new living translations it says instead he gave up his divine privileges he took up the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being when he appeared in human form so hold on so how many so, let, let me just okay, land a point so the point I'm trying to make is is that when when obviously criticism is brought to say that God uh, Jesus can't be God because when he was asked you know when's the hour when uh, when son of man and he says not even I know that only the father in heaven yeah. at that point in time um, he gave up his divine privileges um, and one of God's divine privileges is um, omniscience which is wait is omniscience all knowing wait, omnipotent uh, is all powerful omnis omnipresent Omnis is all everywhere, all everywhere yeah, yeah. Om yeah omniscience omnis all knowing yeah. so at that point in time because as a human being it was never given to human beings to know everything so right. it wouldn't it would be self-defeating for Jesus to come in human form but yet he still knows right. everything so right so can all right so let's let's assess this right okay. so can you brought up in Matthew 3 7 sorry John 3 17 yeah no, okay to... yeah right okay you're right so John 17 verse 3 Jesus John says, 17 verse 3, yeah, John 17 verse 3, bring it up. Uh, may, may I I, I'll make this my last point and then I've got a split. I swear I'm not That's running. Fine, I'm bro, just, it's like, fine. It's, it's, it's all good. Uh, okay, can I do it offline? Because yeah, yeah, the right. camera's ears and forced yeah, me to yeah. stay as well. Um, okay, right, so here we go. Let, wait, let me just get Bible Hub version up one second, bro. Um, stand by. John 3, 17. Okay, here we go. Now this is eternal life that you know you are, sorry, now this is eternal life yeah. that they know you, the one true God yeah. and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Right. Yeah, go for it. So who does Jesus identify as the only true God in this verse? Wait, well, saying true God and Jesus Christ who you are sent. Okay, to, to kind of fast forward, you're saying that Jesus Christ is referring to God, therefore he can't be God. Is that, is that what you're... Okay, let's read it again. This is life eternal. Yeah. That they may know you. Yeah. Who's you? Oh, uh, God. The only true God. Yeah. Who's the only true God here? Uh, Yahweh, heaven. And so yeah. got, there's a conjunction in the yeah, sentence. Yeah. And Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. Effectively, that's what we say when we when we say the Shahada. Yeah. Ashhadu wa la ilaha illallah. There is no God except yeah. the Creator. I would that, but, Hold on, yeah. one minute. Alright, yeah, go for it. There is no God except Allah, the yeah. Creator. Yeah. And we testify that Jesus was sent. Yeah. Right? Yeah. To the Jews. Yeah. Right? So we say Ashhadu wa la ilaha illallah wa shadu Muhammad Rasul. We bear witness there's no God except God. Yeah. And that Muhammad is the messenger of God. Yeah. Right? So in this verse, Jesus identifies the Father, yeah. the Father yeah. as the only true deity. Yeah. When right? It says God, so yeah, that, yeah. that completely yeah. refutes Jesus being God in whatever form you like to put this. Okay. Because Jesus says he alone is the only true God. Mm. So you cannot then say Jesus is God if Jesus himself is saying <coughs> that the Father is the only true God here. 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so in response to that, so John seventeen three, um, as obvious as it may seem, let me just not throw any cans of worms out there. Tradition ascribes the Gospel of John to John uh, the Apostle, right? So the same, the same John um, that's believed by tradition to have written John 17.3 is the same John that wrote John 1.1. 1, 1. So again, the, my point is, is that when you appeal to verses in John to argue, for example, John 17.3, that Jesus isn't God because Jesus is referring to God. Yeah, Jesus it, is referring to the Father. Yeah, yeah, to the Father, yeah. But when, you go to, yeah percent, but when you go to John 1.1, 1, 1, it's the same writer. It's the same writer no, that's it, saying... That's what I'm it's, saying. It's, 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 let me... Let me, let me no, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking with the gentleman Hamza. Okay, let me just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to be rude to you. I just want to finish the point. Yeah. The same writer that wrote in John 17:3 that you may know something God, basically that like it's Jesus speaking to God in the third person. Basically, basically. It's the same John that has written in the beginning of the book. Remember, John is its own self-contained gospel. And he says in John 1, 1, in the beginning was the word or the logos and the word was with God and the word was God. Now, as Christians, I know you might have heard it a million one times, but I'll say it for a million and two times. We don't believe that God uh oh, let me just clarify. We believe that God is one in being, but three in person. So just as I'm a human being, you're a human being, we're all surrounded by human beings, but I'm Drew, you're Hamza, you're such and such, and blah, blah. So we're different persons, but we're one, but, but we're different persons, but our personhood is not the same as our being. So what I'm so are you say saying that the Father, the hold on one second, are you saying the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one in being? No, I'm saying, yeah, 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 I'm saying they're, they're, they're three in person. Right. I'm saying that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are three in person or personhood, right. but are one in essence. One in essence. Essence, that, essence or being. That's even worse for you, and I'll tell you why. Uh, like, when Jesus was on the cross, yeah, go right, if you say, if you believe that they're one in essence, well, let's, let's define what words are. What does essence mean? Okay, so if I say that according to John 1, 1, it says, um, the word right. was with God, and the word was God. Does that mean they're one in essence? Yes, one. In, they say that. So Jesus comes. Jesus actually comes from God. He, it, it, his very nature is the essence of God, which is what makes him no, God. No, that's fine. Okay, so yeah, go for it. when Jesus says. Uh, my father, my my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Yeah, go for it, Was yeah. he speaking to himself? No, of course not. Right. If you believe that they're one being, yeah. right, why would Jesus have to utter these words? That's the question that, hold on one second. The second point I'd like to mention is that Jesus said to Mary Magdalene, yeah. she said, wait here. Uh, no, no, sorry, not that part. Jesus said, I am ascending to my father, unto yeah. my God and yeah. unto your God. Yeah, yeah. So, how can God have a God? Remember, if Jesus is ascending to his Father, the very definition of ascending yeah. demonstrates that he's ascending, he's going up to his Father, yeah. right? If Jesus and God are one being and one in essence, how can he ascend to his Father if they're one in essence? Well, they're not one in that's a, that's because, a contradiction. Because it's that's not a contradiction con because they're one in person. I mean, sorry, sorry. That's sorry, even worse. I, say, I was a slip of the tongue. I didn't mean, I'm saying they're not one in person. But you just said earlier they're one in person that share the same divine essence. No, no, no. I said These are your words. All right. In case, Bro, in, in, in case I slip the tongue, just in case I slip the tongue, let me clarify. I am saying that Jesus is one person, the Father is a separate person, and the Holy Spirit Spirit is a third person. So you believe in three so gods I'm then? No, did I say no, I believe no, in three finished. gods? Okay. I said I believe yeah. that they are three individual persons who share the same essence of being. Therefore, I am saying that God is one, yes. one in being right, or in essence, being. but three in actual individual yes. person. That's what I'm saying. But okay, but that's a problem because that it's means- It's not a problem. It's it a problem is. for you guys. No, no, it's not. No, it's actually a problem for you. And I'll tell you why. Go ahead, go because ahead. you believe that there are three Right, do you know the Athanasian Creed? No, no, I don't. Right. The Athanasian Creed states, it's, it's, um, the, uh, sorry? The Son, the Holy Spirit, and... Yeah, they're one, they're one. That's the Athanasian Creed. Now, they're all yeah. one, right? Yeah. You cannot divide the Trinity, otherwise you're committing a heresy, right? It's a heresy to divide the Trinity and say that they're individual persons, yeah. right? You have to believe by wait, wait, faith... heresy? Right, so the Athanasian Creed, right, yeah. is a creed that the that the church fathers, they recite. I'm sure this brother knows it. Yeah. Right, so that is basically like the testimony of your faith. It's okay. like, it's equivalent to the Shahada in Islam when we say there is no God except Allah, Muhammad okay. is the messenger. So similar in your faith that the Athanasian Creed is that you, 
as Christians, you believe that the Father is fully God, yeah. the Son is fully God, yeah. the Holy Spirit is yeah. fully God. But we don't they're not the one gods. God. Yeah, yeah. Hold on one second. They're not three gods, they're one God. Yeah, yeah. And you can't separate it. Yes. Because if you separate them, you're committing a heresy. Yeah. Right? But the problem with this, if we analyze the Bible, mm. right? We see that they were separate entities, right? For example, right, where Jesus said, Wait, separate I'm, persons, or would you, when you say entity, what do you mean? Like, for, like they were each separate beings, they're all individual, it, they yeah. all of them have an individual personhood. Yeah, right? I, I'm, I'm not, I'm saying that Jesus is a person, I'm saying the Holy Spirit is a person, and I'm saying Yahweh is a person. Right, I'm so, not just right, so let me ask you. But I'm saying that there's a difference between being, because a being is what you are, you are a human being, that is what you are, but, okay. but who you are, is Hamza. That's the difference between being right. and person. Can the father, can the father, can the son hold secrets from the father and the father doesn't have access to that knowledge? Can the see, say again? Right. The son. Yeah. Is it possible for the son to hold a secret and the son, and the father has no access to that knowledge? As in, the, as in Jesus is keeping a secret from the Father? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Is it possible for the Son to hold a secret and the Father has no access to that knowledge? Let me answer that question. And it's, you might say it's a loaded response, but Jesus oh. Jesus still had his own will. So if he wanted to, he could have held the secret from the Father. And the because Father... If he, he wasn't forced, if you look in the Garden of Gethsemane, he ends the prayer by saying, nevertheless, thy will be done. But Jesus could have... Jesus didn't have to go to the cross. Wait, he wait, wait. Chosen not you're to. not answering my question. No, I am what answering are, your question. You're saying is it possible for the son to hold a secret from the father yeah. and I'm saying effectively it is because Jesus still had his own will but uh, the difference is is I'm saying is that Jesus's will was to do the will of the father so even Jesus even though Jesus had an so option, basically you're saying that the father is not all knowing then no no, no I'm not saying Be that. what because that's because that's why I asked you is it possible hold on listen to the question is it possible for the son to hold a secret and the father has no access to that knowledge you said that it's not possible, right? Oh, oh okay, wait, sorry, wait, right. wait, wait, you said it's not possible. If you believe that the father has no access to that knowledge, then you're saying that the father has no knowledge. Okay, sorry, let me, I, I understand your question better now, right? God is, so you have to start off with certain premises, right? So we've got God in the picture, and we've got the son, in, we've got the son in the picture, right? Now, at this point, now, are you referring to, if you're referring to Jesus during his earthly ministry, i.e. from 1st AD to 33 AD, right? When he was just a man. Right. Throughout, whole, throughout space and time, before creation and to the end and whatever, God, Yahweh, the creator of the universe, is om omniscient, is all-knowing. That, 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 that can never change, who, right? who is omniscient? Who? Yahweh, the Father, is all-knowing. So I can... Is I the cannot... Son... Uh, hold on, is the Son Yahweh? Say again? Is the Son Yahweh? Is the Son... No, the Son isn't Yahweh, the Son is who from is the... Yahweh. So that... Okay, so the Son doesn't have... The Son, in... Jesus Christ. So yeah. is the Son omniscient as well? Is the son omniscient? Does he have in in John in John one? It, it depends what time what period in time you're speaking from. So if we're talking before Jesus became a human being, before Mary fell pregnant, yes. During where's your, Jesus' life, where's your proof John that one, Jesus was omniscient going, before he became a human? Hey, in the <coughs> beginning was the Word, that, and the, but yeah, but that's not proof. proof. No, what but, that shows. No, hold on. What that John one one? All that shows <coughs> is that Jesus was there from the beginning. That's all it shows. Okay, right. It doesn't show. It doesn't show that he was omniscient. Are you following? One second. Let me let me go to. So, me, no, no, no. That's I, a dilemma I, I, you no, got to no, sort no, out. No, it's not a dilemma. I, I get what argument you're making. I let think me. Um, it's co equal. Okay. All right. So this is the amplified, just to kind of flesh out John one one a bit more, right? So I'm reading the amplified Bible. It says, in the beginning, in brackets, before all time, was the Word, brackets Christ, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God Himself. So if, so according to, so what this amplified um, translation of the Bible is saying of John 1, 1 is, yeah. is that before all time, Christ, the Word, who is Christ, was with God and was God. And if God is all omniscient and knowing, that tells us that the same Word who was Christ was also omniscient and all know. Sorry, omniscient means all knowing. Now, when you get to John 1, 14. Oh, hold on, stop there, because I, hold on. So are you saying to me, because Jesus was there from the beginning, 
right? The beginning which of still, all, all wait, time and creation. For me, that still doesn't make Jesus omniscient. That's, that, but that's, that's, that's your Okay, so if like, I show you someone else in the Bible who was there from the beginning of time, would you accept that he's God? Well, it depends. Human me, I, I, might, I might fall away from the faith now. Um, but, <laughs> <laughs> show, show, show me, show, okay. show me what you've If you got. go to Hebrews chapter 7, verse 1, read that. Hebrews 7? Yeah. So he, Hebrews chapter 7, verse 1. He's, he's talking about Melchizedek. Just let him read. Let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, know I can show you someone else. But that, that's not I can show you David was there from the beginning of time. Okay, yeah, Mel Proverbs chapter 8. Okay, I've got yeah. too many verses. Go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. So, yeah, Melchizedek. Yeah, go ahead. No, yeah. No, do you want to read it? Do you want to okay, read it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's hot, man. I, if you got to go, it's fine. Yeah, I've got to go. My head's boiling. I'll make this my final point. It's been a blessing, man. It's you um, too. It's always nice speaking to you, brother. You know? Likewise, likewise. All right, let me just. I'm just gonna. I'll read for the NIV. Okay, the Mel. Mel this Melchizedek was king of Salem and priest of God Most High. He met Abraham from. Sorry, he met Abraham returning from defeat of the kings and blessed him. That's, you want me to keep going or? Yeah, oh yes, please. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Abraham gave him a tenth of everything. First the name Melchizedek means king of righteousness, then also king of Salem, which means king of peace. Without father or mother, without genealogy, without being, sorry, without beginning of days and end of life, resembling, resembling the son of God, he remains a priest forever. Right, so without beginning of days. Yeah. Right. No ending of life. Yeah. Is that not eternal? No, no, keep going, keep going. Right. Because I prefer to your Okay, yeah. Going. Without beginning of days. Yeah. Without ending of life. Yeah. Has no mother. Yeah. And has no father. Yeah. What? Give me the attributes of someone in the Bible mm. who has that attribute. Okay, so I need to answer that question first because I'm going to cheat. <laughs> okay, so I've probably said this to you. I can't remember if I said this I don't before. Know. But when, when you're reading the scriptures, um, the key is to try and empty your mind of any kind of interferences that can make you make presumptions about what the text is saying, right? Yeah. You want to try and visualize what is the writer of Hebrews saying. We don't know who the writer of Hebrews is. Um, it might have been Paul, might have been someone else, we're not sure. But when, just to kind of fast forward my point, when, um, so verse three, without father, sorry, without father or mother, without gene genealogy, without beginning of days or end of life, resembling, so it doesn't, it doesn't say that he's the son of God, it says resembling the son of God, but I get your insinuation that this basically is talking about uh, the per what Jesus Christ or no, like, what he's what? saying is that this it's individual it, yeah. has no beginning of days, yeah. no end of life, yeah. right? What is so, so, so hold on. So the reason why I quoted that because you yeah. mentioned in John one one, yeah, that the far that Jesus was there in the beginning with the Father yeah, yeah, and that yeah, makes yeah, him yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. I've quoted to you Melchizedek, yeah, yeah, who basically exceeds Jesus, right? Does he? Oh, well, according to this, he does. Does he? Th where, where does it say okay. exceeds Jesus? Right, hold on one second. He resembles the yeah, Son of God. Wait, wait, hold on. Yeah. If there was a verse in the Bible that describes Jesus like this, every Christian would be using that to, to, to demonstrate. Sir? Absolutely. Because it, I, I put my neck. I, 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 I put you, my neck on the I line for that. I, I showed you Second Titus, not to divert, but I showed you Second Titus 13, which says, "Our great God and Savior Jesus Christ." So it's it, a bit more than that, but it says, "Our great God and Savior Jesus Christ." And this was about probably about a few months ago, and you said, "I don't accept that." I'm not going to label on that point, but the point I'm trying to make is, is that even when there's a point blank verse in the, in the Bible, which there is, that says Jesus is God, not in those literal yeah, words. Yeah, but did he say but, that? No, but this, did he but, say but again, that? this is it. Though. He never said yeah, that. Yeah, but Jesus. That's is what a, someone said about him. Yeah, but hold up a second. Would right? you disagree? If I, if, I that, if I apply that same standard, Jesus isn't speaking in this verse either. So I could say, well, Jesus never said it himself. No, but that's it's the, the same no, principle. Even, even the same Sorry, brother. He could, he Can you take a picture yeah, of this? I want you to see this video. Take a picture of it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Sorry, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not running away from the question, no, by the way. No, no, brother, it's okay. So, no, so to get back... You're going to give me that for no, no, right? so, yeah, yeah, I will. So, 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 so um, I, I'll run up this point, but basically with John... Sorry, with um, Hebrews 7, 7 verse 1, 1. Yeah. No, 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 no. the idea is is to understand what, what, is, what is the right of thinking when he's writing this. Now, I'm going to give my interpretation. It's a bit too long for me to back it, so you might say I'm cheating and I'm exegeting into it. Maybe next time, if you've got to go yeah, yeah, and come oh, back, it's fine. Oh, 100%. But when, when the Jews are writing, when they say that someone was is without father or genealogy, they're not saying literally that that person came out of nowhere. Because, Easy Jesus. Because it's impossible. I know you're going to say that, but I, 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 Jesus. I, I, I'll have to get back to you on that another That's time. Fine. In That's more fine. Depth. Because we know that unless without some divine miracle, it's, in person, it's impossible for a person not to have a human origin if they are a human being. What the... What 
what the riot is saying, what the writer is saying is, is that no one knew who this person's father or mother is. They're saying it's like as if he just come out of nowhere. But they're not saying, they are not saying that Melchizedek the priest in this verse, the Ab that Abraham didn't have a human origin. They're not saying. You know that. that's Jesus, right? They're just saying. No, but I'm saying like when you look at the um, when you look at the Gospels, it gives a genealogy. It gives a genealogy of Jesus Christ. The, 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 in terms of like the cohesiveness of it, that's a different argument which I can debate at a different time. But the point is, is that the Jews they were masters at writing genealogies of people, and that was that was that's their cultural back aspect, their tradition. And yeah. you can Google that. You can Google that. That they're experts at writing genealogies. But what they're saying with Melchizedek the priest is, is that they didn't know his genealogy. Yeah. It's like he come out of nowhere. So when they're saying without father or without mother, or without genealogy, they're just saying that they don't know. Is that know who he is. So what? Uh, that into the text. Exactly. Uh, precisely. I did say that's why I said Easter Jesus. I, I, I did say that at another time because I don't have time now. I then did say fine. that I then, can come to the next time when we when we, we come we will discuss that. God willing, bro. God willing. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Bro, it's nice always speaking. Uh, I'm, to I'm, 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 Could I'm you do me a favor?